Let's look today at continuous integration. I'm going to use a tool called Circle CI to help us. So this tool integrates with GitHub and watches your GitHub files and when you push to your repo uh, it'll automatically execute commands uh, for example to test your files in a Docker container. So the way it works is that we're going to interact with Circle and Circle is going to automatically pull our code and run it in a Docker container in AWS. That's pretty good. So it's the first step in us deploying, for example, to a cluster of machines. So let's take a look at Circle CI. The first thing you need to do is to sign up and get an account. I've already done that. So here I am here and I can do things like add projects. So if I add a project, it automatically now knows about my GitHub projects. So this on the left here is a list of my GitHub projects and we can choose to set up a project in Circle CI. And here I've chosen already Circle CI Express and it's giving me the option of unfollowing but I just clicked on set up project and started following it. So now Circle CI is watching for pushes to Circle CI Express. So let's do a push to Circle CI Express. So let me clear this. So now we need to do a git add dot and a git commit and I've been calling these and I think that should be fine and I'll now do a git push. Now when I push circle is going to get informed about this so let's go back to circle and let me actually go to this project and we'll see okay it was running and there was success on I pushed to um, and I labeled that change image 8. We can go and take a look at exactly what's in that. So here we are and if we look at the configuration here we'll see uh, a file here but here's what happened. I set up an environment, checked out the code from GitHub I happen to run an npm install so I could install express and I did an npm start. So npm start would just run uh, my code, my server and I actually did an npm test as well. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's take a look at the file that controls all of this. So here we've got a dot circle folder and in it is a config.yaml file, YML file. So what this does, this gives instructions to Circle at how to build and test our code. So here we're getting a node image. So this is a Docker image uh, that Circle CI has put up. And then we check out that image and run npm install. So that's going to install Express and Mocha and Chai and all the things that we need. And now we're going to run the server in the background. That and sign means run it in the background. And then we're going to do npm test. Let's quickly look at uh, running a test. So npm test will be defined here in the package.json and it's going to run Mocha and test.js. So test.js, what we have here is a file that makes use of assert and also HTTP mocks. So this allows you to uh, write mock HTTP calls. And we're going to pull in a file uh, example router here just, just to show that we can pull in other files. So in this case here, uh, this says send back goodbye earthling. So our test here is going to make a call to the server 
and it's going to create a request and it's going to hit the slash example uh, route. So if we look in server, we see that we've got a route here that's going to call example router and that's in here. And so it's a little, uh, that's a little complicated, but it's just to show you how to do it. So it's going to basically uh, go to that root example and that's defined here that responds goodbye earthly. So our test is that it should respond goodbye earthly. So we're going to get an actual response by sending uh, this HTTP request. And here's our expected response and we assert that they should be the same. So we pass the test if they're the same. Let's take a look now at what happens in circle. So we're going to need to actually, um, I've run this locally and I know that it can pass, but let's do a git add dot, a git commit minus M. I think we're up to about image nine and a git push. So let me hit git push. There we go. And now we need to skip back up here to see what's going on. So it's queued, it's running, and it passed our tests. So that's pretty good. Let's have a look down in here at what happened. So we can see here we ran the test, npm test, and here it is. So npm test launched Mocha on the file test.js and it should return goodbye earthling. And it did. So it passed the test. So we installed an express server and tested it, which is pretty slick. Okay. Thanks for now. So last time we saw how to use CircleCI to pull from our GitHub a repo and run tests on our code. And now we're going to take it one step further. We're going to deploy now the code if it passes the tests. We're going to deploy it into a DigitalOcean server. So to do that, we need to know the IP address of the server. So we have to spin up the server first. So let's do that. OK, so here we are in DigitalOcean. We've uh, logged in. We'll go to droplets and we're going to create a droplet. And for this, we're going to choose our one-click apps and we're going to need node. So node here. We do that. Cheap machine. We're okay with this, okay with this. Spin it up in New York. And we're going to use our keys and we'll call this uh, the call. Okay, there it goes. It's uh, we got our machine, and we get it to IP address. So we'll copy that IP address. So let's SSH into the machine. So we're going to log into the root and we remember the IP address and that should get us there. Yes. Okay, now we're logged into the machine. Let me just scroll that up a bit so you can see. Now what we need to do is we need to pull down our code here. Well, yes, let's do that first. Let's do a git clone. So now we need to go to GitHub and Circle CI Express. Let's clone it. Okay, so we've got that. Now we want to uh, put that into the background and we want to do a git clone on that. <coughs> okay, so we've got Circle Express there. So what we'll need to do is we need to make sure when we change directories, we go into there. So here, 
we need to change this to the machine that we're using now and now we need to CD into circuit express till it gets full correct okay let's save that now let's go to that directory okay so now I need to do a git add a git commit and a git push and now when we do the git push we should see in our browser we should be able to see let's have a look oh there it goes let's see yeah it's running let's see if it passes its tests Yeah, it's gone to DigitalOcean. It looks like it's built everything. And it's running on port 8080. So everything is fine. It started it up and now it's running on our remote machine. So that's really excellent. Okay.